one half so this one we have k6 and then we have negative 2 1 we have 4 5 and then we have 2 8 so this one we must have 5 right 1 2 3 4 the first one must be the last one must be equal to the first one so here we have the t unit okay so here we have half so up to down you multiply k time 1 is k negative 2 times 5 you get negative 10 right plus negative 10 or you can just directly write negative 10 also okay 4 times 8 you get 32 2 times 6 you get 12 right so below to up you have to minus 6, 6 times negative 2 we get negative 12 so minus negative 12 1 times 4 you get 4 so minus 4 5 times 2 you get 10 so minus 10 8 times k you get 8k so this one you have to minus 8k is equal to 30 so this one 2 you can multiply with this one to be with 30 to become 60 so before that k positive negative minus 10 plus 32 plus 12 minus minus become positive minus 4 minus 10 minus 8k is equal to 60 so this one k minus 8k you get negative 7k so here we have k is done so we have negative 10 and negative 10 so we have negative 20 plus 32 you get 12 12 plus 12 plus 12 we get 36 36 minus 4 we get 32 so positive 32 is equal to 60 so we see here we have this one a uh, modulus so when we want to open the modulus it must be two value so we know that this one here modulus a is equal to a and modulus negative a is equal to a so it can be two answer when you want to open the uh, modulus you have to split up the answer so it can be negative 7k plus 32 is equal to 60 or negative 7k plus 32 is equal to negative 60 So here negative 7k plus 32 is equal to 60. So we bring 7k to the other side. Negative 7k when move here becomes 7k. 60 move to this side. So we have 32 minus 60 which is equal to negative 28. K is equal to negative 28 divided by 7 which is negative 4. So the other value we have negative 7k plus 32 is equal to negative 60. So we bring 7k to the other side, become positive, negative 60 to this side, so we have 32 plus 60. 7k is equal to 92, so k is equal to 92 divided by 7. So here we have 92 divided by 7 is 13.14. So we have two value, either this one or this one. So what is the value of k? So here we can see that it is in a range order. So we see here the value, we see B, C, D first. So we can see that the value of Y is from 1, 5, 8, right? So 1, 5, 8, that means it's on the positive side of Y. So this one is basically 2, 4, 6, 8 because we want to just roughly draw it to see. And then for our X, it can be negative 2 up to 4. So we have negative 2. So here we have 2 and here we have 4. So we see here B, we have negative 2 and 1. So B, we have negative 2 and 1. So it must be here. This is B. And then we have 4, 5. So 4 and 5. So this is C. So here our D is 2, 8. So 8 is here. So this is D. So we can see that you see here a range order. So A must be somewhere here. So you have 13.14 and negative 4. You see here K is the X value, right? So this one cannot be larger than 4. It must be somewhere on the left. So here, because this one is K6, right? So it might be some it might be negative 4. So here we get this one with area of 30. So the value is negative 4. K is equal to negative 4.